With eight adopted children of her own, Jennifer Phil Crooks set out to realize her lifelong dream to empower the world's most vulnerable children. In 2014, Jennifer founded Urati's Village. Urati's Village was named after SF Urati, my long-term partner in the sport of show jumping, who enabled this vision to become a reality. The orphan crisis in Ethiopia is one of the most dire in the world. There are almost 5 million orphans in Ethiopia and no care system in place for those kids. Urati's village mission is to provide clean and safe drinking water, a variety of healthy foods, medical care, and education. We were granted a beautiful piece of property by the local government in order to build our self-sustaining orphan village. It's called Walaita Village, named after the local Walaita people. Walaita Village is a huge project which is run by Uradis Village. Uradis Village is now known in Walaita area and then in the, in the eyes of Walaita government as well. With a team of international experts and talented local builders, we are working to create Ethiopia's first self-sustaining orphan village. Its design will provide for nearly all of its own food, water, energy, housing, and economic needs. The team is focusing right now on developing the soil resources. So a lot of the, the plants and things that you see here are part of developing the the fertility, developing the soil structure, so that we can grow a lot of food for the orphans that will be living here and the nannies that will be taking care of them. Just we starting to improving soil. You use your land, making fertility by planting cabbage, beetroot, uh, kale, zucchini, and different kind of pumpkins. You see single banana trees here. And the next time they propagate, one could pro be 10 or 8. You'll see after three years a lot of change, beautiful change, I hope. In my nature, when I grow something and it's coming well, I'm very happy, you know. Yeah, this is my personal nature. Our children have been included in the process of developing Walaita Village and assist in harvesting crops and learning about green building techniques. We are now getting some vegetables, some, some new fresh, fresh things from our land. We started those kind of things we have never saw. This site um, is, yes, it's taking care of these kids that need it. Yes, it's feeding these kids, but I think one of the big positives for this entire community and potentially even to the, the bigger bioregion is that we're, we're learning about how to do biointensive farming mm. with the plants that are available here in ways that work with the local climate and then being able to share that with the local people. In addition to developing the land for farming, our team at Urati's Village, with input from the nannies who will care for our children, are in the process of building homes for the children and babies in our care. The construction will incorporate both Western and Ethiopian design. Walaita Village is moving so quickly. The resources that have come into Urati's Village has immediately gone out into this land project and the building. In fact, it's been such a great conversion of donor dollars to actual physical resources and natural resources on the land that I'm so excited at what's going to be happening over the next couple of years. Part of our journey with Urati's Village is about how do we authentically build something together and how do we build something for a time beyond our own where it's going to go beyond all of us fair skin people being involved. And that has to be a part of the plan. It can't be we're always going to be involved. 
And I think that's an important part of it. That's built into the mission is this long-term resilience is built here and that we learn from them and we bring that resilience back home to us. They have this project, this demonstration site that is um, potentially could help other orphanages in the region to actually flourish as well. While construction continues at Waleda Village, we continue to improve the quality of care that our children are receiving. Our children receive regular medical exams and attend local schools. Some of the older kids at our orphanage have special needs and attend a school where their unique learning needs can be met. We have never, never saw such kind of care and then love and then attention for the staffs and for the children. The buildings here are definitely showing themselves dominant on the landscape now, which is just beautiful. They're uh, a mix of different types of materials, uh, natural materials, also some concrete, but they're turning out so beautifully. In early March of 2017, we began our preparation to move our children from the rented concrete compound to their beautiful new home at Walaita Village. This is that moment we've all been waiting for, that for them to actually leave their little dusty footprints in on the floors of these buildings that were built for them. And, and the sounds of children, rather than it just being a construction site, is, is I think all the trees, all the plants, all the people, everybody here is going to be happy about that. March 16th was one of the happiest days of my life as our children began a new chapter of their lives at Walaita Village. Dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> we couldn't have gotten to this point without the extreme generosity of our donors, and we are so grateful for the support that we've been given and continue to receive to build this village. Construction continues with a goal of finishing four more homes and a community kitchen by the end of 2017. My dream is that our children can grow up at Waleda Village in a healthy, safe, loving environment. Every child has that right.